Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., running a lot later than normal. Apologies for that. The last cello li- lied to me. Okay, well, maybe not Maybe not so much the last cello lied to me as uh, I... <laughs> the, the, the repair part took about as long as I thought it would. The cleaning part, however... Uh, oh, well, that's unfortunate. <gasps> it must have rained. Is that not covered? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, in between the last stream and now, I had built a snow farm by Shulkercraft. And then realized I'm an idiot because I missed the part where it doesn't work on mushroom biomes uh, below Y level 124. Uh... Oh, this also means that I no, <laughs> I no longer have any of the components of a snowman. <sighs> Would you like to build a snowman? No, I won't do that to you. Uh, what I will do is... Oh, jeez, oh, guys. For serious. I did spend a little bit of time keeping that farm going so I get some gold... And I got a stack and a bit of powered rails to work with now, so that shouldn't be as big an issue. I've been trading with these guys for more glass and uh, putting a little bit more up there. I got a little more... No, not tucked away there. Uh, I got a little more tucked away there, so we got <laughs> almost 40. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else did I... I feel, like, I feel like I did more. I know I did more. I don't remember what else I did. Oh, no. Uh, this does seem to be working as planned, which is good. So everything gets shut off once that box gets to a more appropriate level. Um, I wouldn't mind this being a smidge more full, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, however, comma, that that's actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Um... I almost feel like I could I could find some other ways to get this to, to pack down a little bit better. But I already did that. I made sure that this was completely packed down to stacks of 64. Um, obviously, that backed up to stacks of 64. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And since I let this sit long enough, yeah, our melon farmer challenge should be back to some more slightly reasonable, <laughs> relatively reasonable levels. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. And I should, I should have some sand coming in here too. Well, by way of the cactus farm. I, I've mentioned it for like, what, two, three weeks now. I still, still need to get this doubled up so I can double up my cactus yield because that's, hmm, that's sad. I need more than that. Ooh, four slabs. <laughs> four slabs closer. I guess. Well, not I guess. I mean, I literally am four slabs closer. Uh, I am hoping Arcadius will hop on in a little bit because I have a very important question for him. Uh, assuming he actually what? Ah, uh, why did I throw that? Okay. Uh, but I need to also know if he watched the. Uh, Cord Killers episode I sent to him. Uh, I don't know. I should be coming through. By the way, hi Beach Duck. Is it plugged in? Is it turned on? Did you mute me? Well. 
whether my audio is fine is a matter of a uh, rather subjective opinion. <coughs> Um, well, because here's the deal. I, I, in the news roundup in the Cord Killer, the most recent Cord Killers episode that went out today, uh, it was mentioned that a certain, uh, can't remember if he's the director or the producer, Mirazaki? is going to be coming out of retirement to go do one more film with Studio Ghibli. Again, apparently. A as Bryce was somewhat patiently explaining to Brian and Tom, this is not the first time he's come out of retirement to do just one more, vi one more movie. And the last time he did it, that one more movie was two more movies. But, uh... Yeah... Why do you, why why do you, why do you think I sent it to you? I, matter of fact, as soon as I heard that announcement, I stopped it and tagged you in the notification. But I see how it is. All right, I, I, I guess I, I guess I won't keep sending you cool things anymore. I, I also like the the while Tom is dragging on uh, Tom was dragging on the new animated Star Trek series that's out uh, yeah, to be fair it, it is intended for kids that this is not this is not your daddy's Star Trek kind of deal um, and <laughs> When asked how he liked it, he said, Yeah, they seem to have skipped right to the Star Wars Rebels uh, line of animated... Animated Star Trek. <laughs> you know, where, where, where they kind of skip the good version of stuff and, and just go right to the... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you just had to be there. Hi, friend. Can I get one more trade out of you guys real quick? Come on. Work at your station. It, it's only 4 o'clock. Fine. Fine. I'll save you from your impending horror for just a little bit. Let's see. I need to gather up materials to make a little bit more progress on this guy. Uh, I am currently debating on just how big I want to make this guardian farm. And, and I realize that right now, at this particular juncture, this might be bigger than, than I really want to do anyway. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'll cap it off. I'll make it a small one here, and that way I've left myself all this room to expand it out further, just in case. Um, but I do, I need, I need to make a wall, and I need to go make some dispensers, because one of the things that I want to do is, like with all the other farms, I want to be able to turn this off when... Um, when this gets full, I could, and I am somewhat tempted, I could do a flying machine that, uh, that, that would move the lid of Prismarine off because, because they need, they need, uh, in order for Guardians to spawn in Skyblock, they need a roof of Prismarine. Uh... But honestly, I, I'm the the point is that I really want nothing to spawn <laughs> in there uh, and keep clogging stuff up. So what I will probably do instead is I will put an array of dispensers up at the top, 
and uh, and then just uh, <laughs> let them fall to their doom. Or at least that's the thought. What I do need, though, is to further dip into glass supplies. Although, fortunately, I have a few more suppliers now. Uh, my biggest holdup is I need I need a better I need a better better uh, source of emeralds. I need more emeralds. I just I don't know what I'm going to fit in there because I, I don't have room for any more villagers. I need I need to find. Uh, all right, and Reyes can can be happy now that not only are they all willied up, they're all in uh, in their chromatic order well I mean except for the white gray black like black should be there and white should probably be down there or something like that I don't know uh, I am not the art student of the family all right let me get a um, yeah let me get a nap and I will also need to see how many how many magma blocks do I have? I'm going to need fence gates. I mean, technically, technically, you could use you could use signs to do what I want to do. And dispensers. I'm going to need a lot of dispensers. Uh, <clears throat> that's that's going to be a problem. Uh, fortunately, I can use the wool from the wool farm to break down into string. That's not going to be an issue. I haven't done any tree farming in a while. I, oh, never mind. Lumber problem solved. All right. Uh, and what colored glass do I want to put the guardian farm? I mean, technically, I, I probably ought to do cyan or light blue. But... Those are colors that I, I already need an overabundance of. Uh, I'm tempted to just leave it white or maybe like a uh, light gray. I mean, I could always I could always make it green, but that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Who said I had to make sense? I said I had to make sense. Uh, hmm. All right. Okay. Focus. Or not. Let's grab some redstone. Ooh. I need to work on my cobblestone supply, too. Yikes. That might actually be too many. to be redstone dust not a block oh, this yeah I've got to do the custom recipe at, at some point because this is just... This is not the exciting Minecraft content you signed up for. Put the right thing in there. Mo well, Yang, if you're looking for suggestions, a better dispenser recipe, please, signed your dearest redstoners. I 
I should have counted how many I needed to. Ah, who does that? I also should have done this off camera, but I also didn't expect that last cello to take so long. I don't know what that kid got on got on the cello, but that took that took some doing to get to clean off. And uh, I don't know who told that genius child that um, masking tape was an appropriate <laughs> an appropriate way to uh, to seal the. Uh, the fret markers, but uh, they they were wrong about that too. Please, please do not use masking tape on. Or no, sorry, not masking tape. The masking tape wasn't that bad. Underneath that masking tape was scotch tape, and <laughs> and scotch tape does not peel cleanly off. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> uh that that was that was not that was not fun that was n all sorts of not fun um although i did appreciate that uh when they wrote down their cheat notes as to which string was which note they did it on a sticky note and taped it to the bridge instead of instead of writing it in into the bridge like uh most people seem to do so you know progress i think Yes, there were layers of tape. It, it was the sort of thing that Rayest might do, except, uh, yeah. So they had the, the fingerboard tape to let them know where to finger. It, that was covered by scotch tape, which was then covered by masking tape. No, that was not a lull. That was a sigh. That was, that was a deep, deep sigh. Uh, <laughs> there was a guitar that wasn't that much better either. All right, um, I think I'm actually nearing the end of this one. All right, I need, oh, I'm out of string. All right, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me just go ahead and go with what I got for the moment. Uh, Honestly, I don't, I don't even know if this is going to work the way that I think it will. And I needed all those jungle logs anyway, because I need, I need fence gates. Uh, okay. Uh, that's what I thought. There we go. Fence gates. I need to not put my redstone in the cobble box. I think I'm going to need that. I... <coughs> oh, I need... One more powered rail. Some might call it a lever. Alright. How am I going to do this? Oh. I should probably also grab a pickaxe. I'm still kind of sad about that. I, I wanted to show off the snowman. Uh, the, the basic idea is that you build this 2x2 two two area. And then you put a slab in the corner. And you make and you put three glass panes on the outer edge. You get your snow golem set up there, and then you put a piston on either side and a lever in the middle, and you use the piston to push the snowman into this corner far enough that you can put in that last bit of glass. And because he's on top of this half slab, he'll produce snow on these three blocks right here, which you'll be able to farm easily. And... and Infinitely, if, you know, you, you set yourself at the right Y level. I, I'm, I'm still kind of cranky that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, uh, I came over here for something, didn't I? 
<laughs> Maybe today's going to be a short one, too. Uh, <clears throat> let's get... Alright, because that's what I'm going to need for a minecart. Oh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to go grab a bunch of iron from the iron farm too. Because I'm gonna need buckets. Lots and lots of buckets. Uh I'm going to need I really ought to No, I got a water source right there. <laughs> Never mind. Problem solved. Solved dish. This is gonna be one of the. This is gonna be one of those streams. I, I really, yeah. It's all right. Um, let's just go one, two, three. A stack of buckets ought to be way more than enough. And how do I want to do this? Everything else has a cobble bottom. A row of, well, almost everything has a cobble bottom, a row of smooth sand, uh, smooth sand, smooth stone, and then it goes up from there. So let me go grab, let me grab some cobble stairs. Let me grab a stack or so of smooth stone. And then I'll figure it out from there. Because I think, I think what I want to do is I want to make sure that you can actually see this thing. Interesting. I may be building this just a smidge too close to my island border? Question mark. Yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to hide trying to hide that we're, we're too close to the end of the season to get that uh that particular i'll just put that right there for now i'm going to need guys all squirt away. Oh. <laughs> I still need my pickaxe and uh, shovel. Shovel? No, I just need the pickaxe. I need my brain. I left it somewhere. Does anybody know where? Because I keep going to remove that stupid bit of fence. That, that, that brick wall. My brain is at a brick wall. All right, no, let's, uh, I don't need the sword for now. I'll take the axe and the pick. And that should cover just about everything I need for the moment. Um, I can go ahead and put this string away. I can go ahead and take the prismarine. Um... Oh, oh, I need the magma cubes. I don't think I'm going to be able to do... I've only got the 19 prismarines, so I'm not going to be able to do quite as much as I would have hoped anyway. But we'll see. We'll see what I can get away with in this little sliver here. We'll also see how... Um, <laughs> how well it stacks up. No, no pun intended this time. 
I know, nobody believes that. border around here and I think I might have to move I might have to move that uh, this back just a little bit one more time although uh, if I do that The glass should be transparent and let the let the minecart through, right? No. Of course not. Uh, which also begs the question of if I do that, will it be able to get through? That's right. Uh, I was going to... How do I hide that? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That that was going to stop that there. Um, bother. I mean, I could drop everything down a block. I don't. I don't like having that hang in the void, especially especially all things considered. I could move everything out a block. Yeah, I might. have to do that then uh, and just get everything everything moved back uh, I might also save myself the hassle of try to figure out how to hide that and just go like a so because that works too yeah and then I don't have to worry about trying to Hide an obnoxious lever. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Who thought that was a good idea? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, mm. Yeah. Think I would you, you'd have thunk I'd have prepared. I mean, I could I could just leave that open like that. Because guardians are too small to fit in a one wide hole. Yeah, guardians are too small to fit in a one wide hole. There's going to be glass here, so nobody's going to be able to fall into here unless a squid dies. Uh, I may have to want. I may need to leave myself a hatch somewhere so I can get in in case this uh, the minecart stops moving somewhere in there. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get... this part done. I'm gonna need to change that wall out for something, but until I know what... My problem is, now that I've got... Now that I've got blocks here... 
I gotta worry about, um, I gotta worry about slimes spawning on those little corners there. Those guys accumulate quickly too. There we go. There that is. Uh, what? Do I want to put on the side? What do I want to put on the side? I don't... The glass will go up above that. Whatever it is. I don't want the glass where the magma cubes are. I, I don't want to get to where stuff will spawn there, but... Mm. Yeah, I, I might want to do that too. Clear out a bunch of that area. Get the, the other stairs going like I do there. And then... I'd like to put cobble blocks and then... cobble blocks and then uh, and then go from there but in the meantime I need to block slime spawning real quick so I, I, the the no worries the this is just gonna be uh, temporary I'm gonna pick all this up in a minute I just need to make sure that there are no valid slime spawning spaces while I run and grab Ooh, I haven't done anything with chiseled in a while, or at all. Let me go get a. Uh, let me go get a bunch of chiseled stone. That'll give this a little bit of a different look, but that's okay for now. I don't need the magma blocks for the moment. I've got that squared away. I don't need the smooth stone for the moment, so that's squared away. I need to figure out what I'm dying that glass. Uh, let's go ahead. You know, let's just... Let's go wild. Cyan stained glass. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to start cooking some cactus so I can get some green to make more cyan. Because... Uh, I was about to go through a lot. Uh, ooh, this is the... Mm. <laughs> well, that's going to make life interesting. All right. All right, you'll see in a minute. Let's get... A kingdom for scaffolding. Oh. How about the chiseled stone I was looking for? I could also go get the chiseled stone I was looking for. It might even have been the reason why I walked over here. Alright, if I were me, I would have put... There we go. I hate that I can't even blame that on Ray Astonoid. It's my own fault. I mean, I'm still going to blame her anyway, but... Let's uh, try not to meander off the void. We wouldn't want to void our warranty. And we're going to skip that one. If I put a block there, the cart will not be able to go. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to like the way this chisel stone goes, but I don't want the wings gotting any any taller than two blocks, and I already know that I don't want two uh, smooth stone. Or waste coating, depending on who you ask. <clears throat> I mean, I could just go full flex and decorate it all in uh, iron blocks. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Bothers me having that one block there. So, all right, all right, one one step at a time, one step at a time. Uh, I really need a wandering trader to show up right about now and, and sell me a bamboo or two, because I really could use some scaffolding. about ready to get rid of every other villager I have <laughs> so that I can have uh... wait did he make it all the way up there already all right let me go I shouldn't have to worry about slime spawning yeah I know I mean like any other time the the wandering trader has as bamboo and it's like yeah but I already got I got buckets, I, I got fields of bamboo, and, and the one time you're like, I, I could really use some bamboo, uh, no joy. Of course, we also come back to the fact that normally there'd be eight of those guys spawning in the middle of where I'm working, and I would be highly irate about this. But now that I could really use a wandering trader, I don't know if you've noticed, but there haven't been any. <laughs> oh. Why do they hate me so? Never mind. Don't answer that. I, I think I know. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need more than 55 dispensers. Not right this second, though. I, I, can, I can get by. I can get by. For now, for the moment. Because I don't have enough prismarine to do much else at the moment. Um, we could drop off that one lime wool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. They're, they're, they're doing remote work trading. Some some poor Minecrafter somewhere is getting a call from uh, from the uh, from the the wandering trader call center. <laughs> oh, I meant to grab one more. Uh, one more magma cube. right there. The cart should still be able to get through. Yeah, the cart should still be able to get through. Stuff shouldn't drop down in there. Uh, cart's on its way back, right? Yep. There we go. Alright. One problem. 
solved adjacent. All right, so my floor drop is at four. I need to drop these guys, what, 20? Actually, since I'm putting the magma, I just need the water high enough that they don't jump back out, All right? So I should be, I should be okay. Oh, I'm going to need to go get my redstone wrench because I know none of these dispensers are going to go the way that I want them to because that's just how dispensers work. What direction did you want the mouth facing? Oh, yeah, no, you, you got to do something entirely different and weird. No, I don't sound bitter about it. Why do you ask? Let me go get my wrench. Probably take a nap too. Last time I forgot to take a nap, uh, <laughs> I went to go up, up to the top for some reason and uh, found a, uh, how shall I put it, a welcoming committee was up on the surface waiting for me. Oh, come on. Nappy nap. Nighty night. Early to bed, early to rise. Well, the real Java is definitely out behind me. So I will need to be very, very careful <laughs> when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, moving my chair. I should probably put a crafting table over here somewhere too. Let me go grab a crafting table. Cause I'm going to be able, be able to want to craft the, uh, prismarine bricks and shards and lanterns and such and... Oh, I thought I had more more than that made. All right, I'll have to get another stack of crafting tables ready. <laughs> For no good reason. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Uh... spaces in my inventory at the moment. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other reason why I went back there, because I needed to go trade for some more glass. Crikey. I also need... yeah. I need to trade for some more glass. I need... I need a brain. Knew I was the scarecrow. You know, if I only had a brain. Hi, friend. Two and three. Who's got round two? There we go. And what about you, good sir? No? Come on. Look at that iron. You know you want it. Alright, and I think that's all those guys are gonna give me for the moment. Uh I forget how much iron I needed to have handy, so we'll just we'll just go with that for now. I got my tools all healed back up with mending. And I guess the real question is is how tall do I want to make that? 
because here is the conundrum, so far at least. Because I am lining the floor with magma cubes, I don't... I don't need to drop them far enough that they die uh, from fall damage. Uh, however, comma, if I had them die of fall damage, that would mean that they, they remove themselves from the farm quicker. That, that, that seems the best way of phrasing that. So I really, really, really want these guys to, to not stick around in the farm any, any longer than absolutely necessary. The sooner they get eliminated, the better. So it's what, 20, 22, 24? For, for, a, for a complete death, a quick death. Uh, so I'll bring, I'll bring this wall up to Y30, yeah. Yeah, if I bring this up to Y30 and then put down my, uh, fence gates. Then I'll be able to drop them from from about about enough to kill them, if not right away, quick enough. Uh, I'm tempted to conserve materials though, because again, I don't. They'll die eventually on that stuff. the the prom, the the conundrum comes in. The longer they take to die the slower the farm works. Which means the longer you have to wait for the stuff you want to generate. Um, having, having said that, though, I don't have a ton of storage. So it's not like the benefit to having a fast farm is that I don't have to wait long for the resources that I need, but I'm not, I'm not getting an ab overabundance of challenges out of that. Not, not this go around. Um, hmm. that, that is, All right. as much as, as much as I really want to do this, the, the resource effective way. Or sorry, the, the the farm efficiency way. I may I may end up just doing this the, the resource effective way. If only because uh I don't want to go burning through too much in the way of glass. So I should be far enough that when they drop they won't uh they won't be able to to bounce back into the water because i forget how high they can jump i, I want to say guardians have a, a pretty decent jump and i want to make sure that wherever it is um yeah let's go one higher i just want to make sure that they can't jump back into the water while they're busy down there dying. If that makes sense. The other problem is that I'm, I'm still going to have to uh, parkour my way around this thing and uh, place down all those fed skates. Uh, I think this is where having an abundance of slime may come in handy. No, not I think. This is definitely where having an abundance of slime is going to come in handy. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out. Because that's one, two, three. And 
put out a, uh, a little walkway and just start working on the gates. And if I drop something, it's not the end of the world because the cart that's already running will pick it up and put it into storage. So life is good. Place the gates, place the gates, place the gates. Uh, and the reason why I'm using fence gates is because fence gates have... Uh, the, way, the way they're set up is they will allow items to pass through when they're open. And they don't have some of the weird issues that signs have. So by leaving a bunch of open fence gates like this... I'll be able to put a, a water, I'll be able to put some falling water on top and this will stop the water from flowing, but it will still allow the guardians to, to spawn in uh, and fall through. I feel like I didn't explain that very well though. Uh, It allows the coffee to not work and the host to not make any more sense than they're making before. That's what happens. I guess I do have to be careful. I don't I don't want this so big that uh, items despawn before they get picked up. I mean, honestly I'm not I'm not super worried about uh about slime blocks. I, I can I can convert the farm back over to uh, to a slime farm if I really need it. I, I don't know if you noticed I had to add an overhang uh, so I got some uh, brick stair or brick half slabs above the normal roof and they hang inward just a little bit because I did not realize this. The magma cubes jump a little bit higher than slimes. And so the magma cubes were jumping out of the farm. <laughs> I was leaving myself AFK for a little bit and uh Oh. Well that's unfortunate. Oh, that also means I'm definitely gonna need more than fifty-five dispensers. Cause that was a stack right there uh let me not leave let me not leave uh oops. actually that's good that'll tell me if uh any items drop there will the cart actually pick them up because that was that was a concern of mine Where is the cart? Really should be coming through any time now, right? I almost want to replace the smooth stone with uh, gray glass, so I've got a window into the cart. Oh. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Items that fall on that block there are not going to get picked up by the cart as it goes through. Which is weird because I would have I would have thought they would. Um hmm, bother. Maybe... Maybe I'll just put a half slab there? I just want to make sure that, like, squ 
liquid or something don't don't fall don't fall into that hole and cause the minecart to to stop rolling. That that's really the big the big thing. That's all I want to all I want to do is stop that from happening. So let me go ahead and. Well, uh, well, a red stain slip. <laughs> what do I have? What do I have in half slab form that's going to match that? Hopefully, a red sandstone. No, no, no I got to do something with that red sand they gave me. less fun. That is my one beef with the, uh, did I lose a bit of glass there? Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, fence gates. Ah, crikey. All right. So let's figure out how many fence gates. That way, I know how many more how many more dispensers I need to make, because I need enough dispensers to cover that area. So let me go. That's a stack, and now another half stack. I want to say it's going to end up being a little bit more, though, because we hit uh, 32, 8, uh, no, about a stack and a half should cover it. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember how many, how many of the the magma cubes we put down when that really would have been the better opportunity to to count. Ah, who counts? Just you know. Place blocks, right? Isn't that how this works? Just place blocks and hope it all comes out for the best. Actually, I wonder what all these fence gates are doing for my uh, island ranking. Check that, uh, and hopefully before 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 the end of the season, we can get a day that everybody's on and run the ranking, so that way we can get a true a true rank and see uh, see how everybody managed at the end of the season. Given that we started with what forty, I think it was. I need. A lot more cyan glass. A stack and a half will just be just barely be enough. So I need more more dispensers. I need a lot more dispensers. I think I will go convert one of the one of those biomes to to a taiga or something, so I can try to get enough snow to make another snow golem. Only this way, this time I'll put a roof over them so the rain doesn't melt them. Even though that's the wrong Y level, just to to 
to have had the farm. For no other reason than because because it's there. Isn't that how that works? Uh, is that where I got the fence gate? Yeah, okay. Doors, fence gates. So I got doors and fence gates. I need... Maybe not quite that much redstone dust. I need a half stack of dust and then five to make that 60. There we go. And for now, we'll try to cube as much of that up as we can. And I'll put the other random three dust away. For the moment, I'm going to need a lot more sticks. Uh, we'll start with that. I'll get... Alright, three stacks of string got me 55. So that should be more than enough string to make that happen. I need cobble. I'm going to have to spend some time on the cobble farm. That is for sure. That is for sure. Let me go ahead and put uh, some of those away. That, that's not going to... Hmm. Do a little bit at a time then. Because I need more room to make bows. These did Ray S craft in uh, season one for our storage. <laughs> oh, oh, crafting dispensers. How do I hate thee? Let me count the ways. One stack, two stacks, three stacks. Freeze up a little space. Let's get some more bows. Oh, man. Yep. I've definitely got to load up the uh, a different dispenser recipe. Something that lets you convert the droppers into dispensers by adding the right amount of string and lumber. Because I said I needed a, a stack and a half, right? And I'm at a stack and a quarter. about to run out of I'm about to run out of something right. 21 
I'm short something. No, no, that should that should be enough because I, I used up all the redstone dust. That that should come out to a stack and a half. Uh, I've got more bows than I need, but that's okay. It's not like I it's not like I won't need need to make more at some point. Yeah, here's my stack and a half. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I need. more sticks because that's going to come in handy I can put the string away I can put the cobble away uh, where's my archery box I'll get my bows put away and I'm going to need you need a stack and a half buckets of water. <laughs> I need a lot, Beach Duck. That's what I need. I need a lot. And, and more caffeine or brain space or something. <sighs> yeah, because I, I need... I need a little less than a stack and a half to cover just this. Oh, I need. I need to go get more glass. I need more cyan glass. I need to figure out how big a water space I'm going to make. I'm already making this smaller than I had intended, but uh, that's the way it goes, right? Let me trade off the iron, and I'll come back for more later. Uh, I think instead of. Hanging on to the iron I need for the buckets right now. I'll do something slightly different. Come on, man. One at one of you is... Eh, oh, no, 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 no. Not bells. Not bells. <laughs> Alright, good. That actually gave us one more round of trading because these guys technically haven't started yet. So that means we'll, we'll get three rounds of trading out of these guys. One in the pre-morning trade. And then uh, as soon as the clock gets 8 o'clock, I can get another round. That should get me a little more glass. Something I can use for that, for that setup there. Come on, guys. Don't you want to open up early? I have iron. I have iron. Are you sure you don't want some iron? Okay. Somebody's on the ball. Alright, good. While I'm at it, I need to uh, top off my pickaxe. And I think that's all these guys are going to give me for this go-round. Oh, oh, okay. I'll take another round of trading with you. Good, sir. Okay. Then let's put that away for the moment. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a stack and almost a stack and a half of prismarine to to get this farm where I want it. I also need to figure out how I'm gonna power the dispensers on and off. Uh, I got the redstone dust, but I gotta worry about. I gotta worry about how I'm gonna get the power moving exactly how I want. So let's grab some of those just in case. Let's. Uh, hmm. All right, I'll figure that out in a minute. One step at a time. First, my oh, that's right. You're the one Yahoo. You're the one guy that doesn't trade glass. Why can't you be like the other guys? Hmm? 
Why can't you be like the other nice village people? Yay! I'm up to level 95. Not quite as absurd as some of the leveling we got uh, in Season 1 uh, with, with, with that uh, zombie pigment farm in the nether. Yeah, if if I had taken the time to really uh, to work the... Uh... Wow. Okay. I am burning through a lot more cyan dye than I really wanted to. Uh, if I had taken the time to to really work my way through the uh, the words, oh, I need the slime blocks too. One day, one glorious day, I'll be able to finish the sentence. Oh, to to to. <laughs> That's all, folks. If I had taken the time to grind out the, the magma cubes, the magma blocks, I'd have been able to make another zombie pigment farm like we had in Season 1, and that would have been awesome, except the, the storage really... <laughs> You ran into storage really fast with that one, let me tell you. And uh, that would definitely be a going concern for uh, for the round two. All right, I need to make sure that I've got enough space for the guardians to spawn and fall. I know I looked up all the requirements for them to make the guardian farm last season, but it's been it's been long enough that I don't I don't remember how tall I have to make it. Uh and that bothers me. Cause I need I need as much spawning space as possible, but I need them to fall as quickly as possible. So that's a space of four blocks. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want more than that. So... I'll give them eight blocks of water? Question mark? Yeah. So that was two, four, five, six. Now my other question is, as long as I put the prismarine blocks over the dispensers, will that... Will that count for purposes of spawning? Or am I going to have to figure out some other way of doing this? I might end up having to figure out some other way of doing this. Alright, that is... Oh, this chunk's got to be deep ocean too, doesn't it? Okay. Alright, that's fine. That does make it interesting for up there now, doesn't it? Is my walkway going to be... No. No, my walkway will not be over this chunk. But that does mean I need to make sure that the glass... <laughs> that that... That the glass for the riverway is... Uh, is definitely covering over this chunk so stuff doesn't spawn up there. Uh, that also means that I might not be able to do the water level on top. Maybe. Find out soon enough. In the meantime, I just gotta remember to be careful that uh, once I set this to deep ocean. Oh, are guardians gonna spawn there in that little puddle? 
That is going to epically suck if they do. No, because they're, they're not under Prismarine. Okay. So that's eight blocks up. And I'm going to need the dispensers. And then I'll put the Prismarine on top. And I'll get redstone on top of the Prismarine. Because if I power the Prismarine blocks, I'll be able to power the the dispensers underneath. Yeah. Alright. This might not get finished. Nah, I'll get this finished. Alright. Let's get that and that and what I want to do is I actually want to get my my wish it was scaffolding I'll get all the dispensers done and then And then I'll start uh, filling them up with buckets of water. Fine. You know what? That... That's facing south, right? Facing down. Sweet. That works. Some of these farms get kind of tedious to make, but on the other hand, it, it's always kind of nice to really enjoy the fruits of uh, fruits of uh, your labor on these. Oops. the idea is these guys will be full of buckets of water I'll have the prismarine on top the redstone on top of that the redstone will power the prismarine which will trigger these guys to dispense the water which will go down to just where the the fence posts are fence post fence gates are and the guardians will spawn in the upper part of the chamber where the water is. And then the guardians tend to sink. That, that, is a, that is a function that just about every guardian farm I'm aware of takes, takes advantage of. Just that, for whatever reason, that's, that's how they roll. Uh, so the guardians will sink, they'll fall past the fence gates, and die on the magma blocks. Oops. Down. There we go. Ideally, I would make this taller so the gap between the magma blocks and the, the fence gates is... Oh, did I, did I hit the wrong one over there? I did. Bother. There we go. <sighs> Why must you be so difficult? Is it because of original programming? I bet it's because of original programming. coming from <laughs> it, 
Are, are the bats really spawning in that chamber above the magma cubes? Because, uh... Oh, guardians killing bats doesn't give you bat heads, does it? I don't think it does. I mean, that would be kind of cool, but I don't think it does. That was almost bad. Oh, oh, come on. So good. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, all right. Now I need massive amounts of buckets. Lots of buckets. Should be 19 buckets, will, which will at least let me get started. Oh, the bats are probably forming o or spawning over the uh, slime blocks because those are spawnable blocks. Because, of course. All right. Let's get a water bucket and a prison ring, a water bucket and a prison ring. That way I'll at least know which one I put a water bucket in. start figuring out I'm going to need some cobblestone or something to uh, to work as a, as a temporary block until I can get enough prismarine to finish this up since I'm going to need more buckets anyway and then I can work out the power. Uh, let me... Let me do that. That, if I'm lucky, <laughs> nothing should spawn on top of those guys. Although, I don't know, with my... I don't, I don't think I'm that lucky. Uh, all right. I need buckets. I need a stack and a bit of cobblestone. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to power a bunch of this stuff. Stone I need temporarily. I need iron for more buckets. I needed a stack and a half. I've already got 19 buckets, so uh, that's a stack. And 
and a half. Although I've already already used a bunch of buckets. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Uh, I still I still need to figure out how I'm getting power up there. So you know you're out of space. Uh, let's put those in there and I'll get one, two, I do that. Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind. I'll, I'll finish a thought in a minute here. Let me uh, <laughs> let me let me get this squared away first. This is too far because this is if I if I ran a line up here that powered it's going to be 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and we're not going to hit that guy so I need I need I might run power up the side here That way, it'll go that way. I just need to figure out how... How I'm going to power this. So that way the power actually carries all the way across. Right. More buckets! putting something reasonably useful over here. Uh, while I am thinking about this, let's go slash is, and we're going to go bio. Nope, not the current radius. We want chunk deep ocean. And then we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if guardians spawn in that little puddle over there. Uh, uh, it, it, in in the very famous words uh, of a certain smuggler, I get a bad feeling about this. Okay, yeah, I did. 
That's the one thing I don't like about these style farms. So much tedious repetitiveness. And it's repetitively tedious too. Four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's uh, thirty, thirty four more. By the by, just a, as a general update, I have not found anybody with a better deal than Nodecraft. So it really does look like that's where that's where our next that's where we're gonna transition since Cubetos is shutting down. I I still feel I still feel kinda bad about that. Because I really did enjoy Cube Toast and I, I mean I get it. Just, you know. The the times have been weird for all of us. So, tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to contact Nodecraft and see, see what I need to do to get in the queue to make sure that we don't, uh, <laughs> we, we don't get stuck uh, serverless when they shut down the Virginia server. Because that would not be good. But it is the way of things. Uh, at least Nodecraft, unlike some of the other options that were prevented, presented, uh, manages a lot of the stuff that I'd really rather have somebody else manage. If you uh, if you catch my drift, I, I I barely have time to start my streams, uh, much less manage server updates. I'm going to find out the hard way that I missed a bucket on one of these, aren't I? Alright. Two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep. So six, twelve, fourteen. So I need to make seven more buckets and one more trip. Uh, I'll put those in there. water. I'm just happy I didn't tear all that down like I'd originally intended. I, I am I am very curious how well this is going to turn out. Then I need to figure out how I'm going to run power and how I'm going to turn this thing on and off. Because those, those are my two big concerns. That might be something that I just end up pondering, uh, off camera until until Friday. I do need to make sure I spend a little more time on that river project, and I don't let me forget to check on the sand, uh, the the sand farm. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what it is at this point. The cactus farm. Um, all right, so here is. The conundrum. I can run 
Let me go get a... Uh, let me go turn this back into some redstone blocks just for the moment. Let me get all my spare stuff out of here. Let's grab those guys there and... I'm going to go grab some cyan wool. Because I might put that at the top anyway. Push comes to shove, I can always carpet it a little bit too. Alright. Now here's the question. Uh, I, can, I can get a, a signal up good enough um, I guess the question is if I do Oh, are you kidding? I'm one short. And I'm going to need some more redstone anyway. Alright, so let me get... Oh. I am dreadfully low on repeaters. Let's fix that. Peters, I need cobblestone. No. I need stone. Yes. Let's take a quick nap. Coffee break. So I can use slime blocks and pistons to push a redstone, a block of redstone up and create the signal. That's not a problem. Or I can do a torch tower, or I can do... Yeah, you get the idea. There, there's options for getting the signal from down there to up. What I need to figure out is what to do from there. If I do it like that, that will definitely power everything once I get... A signal. All right. So if I if, ooh, if I do that on the corner, that means 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So that means if I can get the that means I do not want that there. Same I am. Because I want to push it up at the corner. But not on, not on one of those. I I need a I need a glazed, glazed terracotta. Something something that the the slime blocks won't move. Uh, surely I've got a 
glazed terracotta or something. It's going to be ugly. But it'll be functional. Oh, look at that. I got plenty of cyan glazed terracotta. I mean, it could be uglier. I, I could go ahead and take some green leaves and put that put the head up there with these guys. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll find a way to hide this. Not likely. So if I put that there, that means when the redstone gets pushed up and down, the slime will not stick to that bit of terracotta. And I can do that, which will make sure that things get moved all the way across. So I got something there. I need... I need a lever. Yep, I need a lever. Just because I need to test this out and make sure the whole thing works the way I want it to before I go making anything more complicated than that. As it is. So we'll get my lever. Oh, this is going to be nice if it's finished. Because the big thing is I'm I'll, I'll get the auto on off hooked up. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to need the comparator there. And then, okay. Yeah, I was going to have to put that on the corner anyway. I hate that I've got that weird overhang looking thing. But not much I can do about that. Alright, so if I get... That gets me water, right? I mean, I heard all the dispensers go. And... If I do... Why do I get the feeling that this did not go as planned at all? One of these. 
Hercules is not retracting his water, is it? Okay. So that would be the problem. planned at all. I'm going to have to have a good think about this one. Because it looks like not all of those guys fi are firing in sync. So some of them are dropping water. Some of them are not. Um, oh great. Well, if I needed more cod. <laughs> oh, cod is not what I wanted. one that I'm triggering it because I'm no I was going to say because I'm powering it it's actually powering the ones next to it too which normally would be what's happening but that shouldn't be what's happening here have to have a good think on this one because I do not see I do not see any guardians spawning there I just see massive massive amounts of cod this cod to be happening yeah on that on that one I, I think I'm yeah all right uh I'm going to have to figure out what was going on here. And it might be the Y level, now that I think about it. It could it could be the Y level. It could be that... Uh, no, because it's supposed to be just anywhere below 40, right? Let's, uh, ooh, let's nap first before, before bad things happen. I might have to... I might have to tear all that up clear it out and then try again but let's go back over to the the spawn island where the hints on on how that works let's go no nope, not home let's return to spawn island welcome to you skyblock advanced in the nether placing signs guardians spawn below prismarine okay doesn't say doesn't say at what level although Bolt Arcadius has his farm down there and X Medic Frog has his farm there 
So it is always possible that that is, that's too low in the ground. That, that is a, that is a very distinct possibility. Which stinks, because that means that I built all that. All that work and all I got is a miserable cod. Well, I don't have to fish for cod. Uh, salmon don't spawn in deep ocean, do they? No, salmon spawn... Seriously, guys. Y'all are just gonna... Yeah, guardians would help clear this out, too. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I uh, am... That's going to, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Words are going to be said about that one. Too bad you can't compost fish. I mean, that feels like something you should be able to do. You, you should totally be able to drop fish into a composter and, and get bone meal out of it. Right? Am I the only one who thinks that? Like, like that should be a thing. Yeah, I am I am wondering if if it is the Y level thing and this farm is just too low to the ground. Uh I gotta I gotta double check. Although I didn't think it was gonna matter with Skyblock, but I, I've thought I've thought that about a lot of things. It could also it could also be that Oh, the Y level does? Okay. Is that, is that, did you try building yours this low before? Okay. Well, lo looks like, uh, looks like I'm going to have to build this up a, as high as I had initially planned on anyway. So I'm going to have to get ready to spend a chunk on some raw, uh, on, on some, uh, glass. Uh, let me go ahead and pick this up. Actually, turn that off. I'm going to leave the... Uh, leave the repeaters there just to block spawning. And I will tear this down between now and next live stream and try to get up enough glass to get me up to uh, the right Y level. Doggone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Make sure I jump in the right place. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do with all this cod? Well, yeah, I know. I know that's how guardian farms work in a traditional, but you're not spawn. You're not spawning these in a normal. There, there is no uh, bounding. There is no bounding box for a temple. It, you're just. It's going by prismarine. That's why I really didn't think that it was going to be. Why it was gonna matter? That's why I really thought that all it was gonna matter was if. Uh okay, that was weird. Uh, that's why I really thought it was just gonna matter that um, it was under prismarine. So, shoot. Yeah, exactly. Because the bounding box is only at a Y level. That, that's the bounding box includes the Y axis in a vanilla world. The the Skyblock documentation didn't mention anything about anything other than 
you needed Prismarine. That's why that's why I'm a little little cranky about it. Cause per per all the hints and stuff, that's all that should matter is that it's water under Prismarine uh, in a valid biome, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'll tear that down. I'll raise it up. Alright, sorry for the really late start. I hope you had fun. Uh, I do this Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also stream Fridays at 6.30. Normally it's Games Revisited. That's been on a little bit of a hiatus. I will I will definitely be getting back to... Uh, I'm going to try to get a session in somewhere between now and the end of the year to finish up the Zelda stuff, and then it's going to be on hiatus until the new year. And I can try to get my, my schedule and my life back in order. Although I say that, and we're just about at December now. So, <laughs> that, that's just the way that goes, too. All right, let's, um, let's go raid Grimly. He's a wonderful guy. He's working on a chatbot right now. So if you're into that sort of thing, join along, and I will see you next time.